All right, continuing to talk about hormone treatment for prostate cancer. Anytime you get on any of these agents or anytime your testosterone is lowered, again, there's a treatment benefit to it for the prostate cancer, but the side effect of the treatment is, you know, you have a low testosterone. What comes with a low testosterone? Usually decreased energy, decreased sex drive. A lot of guys get lethargic. They can put on weight. The bone density can get less and the muscle mass of the body can be decreased. You know, depression and all these things can happen, but it has to do with you're lowering the body's testosterone. It's good for treating cancer and it's effective at treating cancer for a specific period of time. But there is some downside to it, is those side effects that I talk about. Decreased sex drive, decreased energy, decreased muscle mass, decreased bone density. Someone that's on hormone treatment for prostate cancer, it's really important for them to get both vitamin D and calcium in their diet to offset some of the bone loss that, and bone turnover that can happen because of this lower testosterone. You know, just knowing that ahead of time can now help guys just really be aware, okay, now that you're on this hormone treatment in order to preserve your bones and help your bones, the best thing to do is physical activity and actually strengthening those muscles. And in doing so, your bone strength is improved. So activity becomes important. And then getting the appropriate amount of calcium and vitamin D in your diet on a daily basis to help decrease bone turnover and, and bone loss. So there are other agents that are also given to help decrease bone loss in someone with that's on hormone therapy or testosterone lowering agents, but it's a common treatment. In my urology practice, lots of guys were on hormone treatment. Lots of guys received hormone treatment for you know metastatic disease or they were undergoing focal treatment and were on a short course of hormone treatment and then after the treatment they were able to get off. There's different ways of managing hormone treatment and different lengths of time that are beneficial for different types of treatments and things like that. So that's pretty much it.